Hey, thanks for stopping by your review channel. We're going to be talking about how to export an image from Final Cut Pro X to your desktop to use for as a thumbnail. Let's get into the video right now. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. Okay, let's get into the video. So what we want to learn here today in this tutorial is how to export an image in Final Cut Pro X. So if you have a project and you want to create a thumbnail or if you need an image out of your project and you didn't take a photo of it or you didn't have your iPhone with you or you just said this looks really better than the other thing, I'm going to show you how to export that image real easy into desktop and I'm going to show you how to pretty much put it into uh, Photoshop or whatever program you're using. I'll show you the setup and so forth. So here's a uh, project that I'm working on and I want to use it. I want to make a thumbnail. So the way I want to make a thumbnail, so I want to get an image of, of you know, I want to get one specific frame. So how do you get a frame out of Photoshop, uh, out of uh, Final Cut Pro X? Okay, so what you do is you want to find the frame that you want, okay? You want to just kind of scroll through your, your project and take a look at this project that I was working on. And so say I like, okay, so I like this thumbs up over here. So let's go over here. So say I want to take this specific image, okay? Only this one frame. This is what I want. So how do I get that? So if you don't have a control keyboard or if you don't have a, a jog shuttle with keys on it, all you have to do is type the I for the in, that's the in point, O for the out, that's the out point. That is one frame. Okay, so now you have the in and the out, the I and the O on that one frame. So how do you get it to your desktop? Real easy. To the top of the right over here is this little um, export. Okay, click on the export and then you go export image sequence. Okay, take that click on the export image sequence and you can see it's a JPEG and you can change that format to anything you want go under settings and you can change it to a JPEG I like the um, PNG file myself you can do JPEG you can do whatever you want here under these um, preferences I like the PNG file here's your, what your title as your um, title of your project whatever and you just want to export so hit next okay so it's only gonna make one frame okay Keep the title the same whatever on my desktop i know where it is so it's going to create a folder and inside the folder it's going to create the actual image so let's do that now hit save and you'll see within a few seconds top of the right of your screen here if you're, if you're following along wait for it. it doesn't take long there it is okay done so basically rendered exported put it on your desktop okay so let's close that out okay and let's Go here and right here is the file let's open up the file and there is the actual open that up so you can see it so there is the image so now we take the image so now we have the image in the folder so that's all set to go so now let's open up our Photoshop okay and what you want to do to make a thumbnail is go into file you want to make a create a new file okay it's already in here but you want to have this setup 1280 pixel by 720 pixel by 640 resolution okay and background color transparent white whatever you want it's, it's totally up to you how you want to do that and just hit okay so that's pretty much your thumbnail size exactly okay so then you just take your image here that you export it to desktop and let's drag drop it into your and just uh, convert the depth that's fine do that so there's your image here okay so basically you have your image on top of and here is the layout so you take this image here and you just drag and drop on top of that frame box and you can see there is your see it fits it perfect right there and that is exactly what you want so there is an actual an actual there you go you're good to go you can take that you can export it back out onto your desktop drag and drop into your, your youtube channel um if you're looking for a thumbnail this is it um any questions or comments leave below i hope i hope you found this tutorial are fairly easy it's really really simple if you're always trying to get how to figure out how to get an image off the off Final Cut Pro X this is how you do it it's really simple hope you appreciate the video if you found some value to this video please subscribe to my channel I do appreciate that as well also like and share it does help me out quite a bit and I do appreciate that so thanks so much for tuning in have a great day and thanks for watching